Hello everyone and welcome back to API Manager series. My name is Kumar Gaurav and I'm back with another video on WS2 API Manager version 4. So this video is the second part of API Manager version 4 installation. So let's get started. Here is the quick agenda for this session. So we will see about API Manager server silent mode startup, stopping the server, checking the carbon logs and changing the Java home. So normally we start API manager using startup script and uh, which is API manager dot sh or dot bat and press C and we uh, press control plus C button to stop the server particularly in our development environment. But what if we want to start the server and close the command line or the terminal and let the server running in the background. The answer is the silent mode startup. So the silent mode startup facilitates application server to be running in the background irrespective you close the terminal so there is a script that is located inside api home bin directory the script name is api-manager.sh for linux and mac and dot bat for windows to start api manager in the silent mode we have to use the command sh api-manager.sh start so this will start our API manager in the background and once the server has started successfully we will see below lines to be printed in logs okay so so this gives the confirmation that the carbon dev portal and the publisher URLs are there in the logs and we are uh, confirmed that the server has start started to stop the server there is the same way we have started the server so the script remains same and we just need to apply the stop command in the last instead of start and this will stop our server. So this way uh, we, uh, uh, we can stop our server if the server is running in the background because for running in the foreground we can just press the control plus C button to stop the server. So the requirement comes when uh, if the server is running in the background so how can we check the logs there are two ways to check the logs either we manually go inside the directory or uh, we can see the logs uh, that is printed live for the debugging and the testing purpose so there is a log file wc2carbon.log the file is located inside api manager home bin uh, sorry repository logs wc2carbon.log so if we have started API manager in the background and if you would like to see the live or the current logs of API manager then for Windows and Mac we have to tail the logs using tail command tail minus F API home repository logs ws2 carbon dot log and for Windows we can open the file and reload it once the file gets refreshed. If we don't want to see the logs uh, to, to be available or the logs that are printed live, we can just uh, do a SFTP to a local file or we can just do a cat command to see the file contents. Okay, so here is the slide that shows once we do the tail minus F. So here's a snapshot of how uh, the ws 2 carbonlog file looks like and all the necessary info uh, warning and error messages are printed here so now there are some scenarios uh, where we need to change the java home or need to use a specific java version to run api manager the changes are required to be done in a startup script uh, the, the script remains same which is api manager.sh or batch file and there is a line available uh, inside uh, the the file which is java underscore home so you have to change the values of java home variable as per your requirement let's say we are running jdk 1.8 and 1 and 11 and we would like to use jdk 11 to run my api manager so we have to set the part and save the file we can use any standard ed editor in windows or using linux we can use the vim or the nano command to edit the file and update the value of java home so that's come to end of this session. 
uh, that's the theoretical part that we have covered in this session so now we are good to start the demo so let's begin the demo so we have api manager 4 which is installed in my laptop so is a bin directory so first we'll start the server in silent mode okay so let me go to the location for ease of access i will just take the path of this file okay just to clear the screen okay so we have sh and then start so now we can see there is no log available here so how we can check the logs we'll do a tail minus f repository logs dot dot in stands for it's a relative to this directory so that's why it's inside the api manager home only so ws2 carbon dot log and we can see that the server starting uh, server is getting started and logs are getting printed here and even if you press the control c the server don't gets a stop only the log showing or the logs printing in the terminal window has a stop we do the tail again and we see it has proceeded next okay so the server is getting started in the background mode now we can see the logs which is printed live on our screen we can see if there is any error message or any uh, warning which is available and uh, accordingly we can stop the server and we can take the action to make the necessary correction so uh, the server is getting started so as we have mentioned in our agenda so we have to start we have to stop check the carbon logs so carbon logs checking we have already verified so let's take some time till the server gets started so once the server will get started successfully you will see uh, some logs to be printed that the publisher url the dev portal url and the carbon url so even also it shows the server startup time how much time the server has taken to start so that you can uh, make the necessary changes for the uh, uh, the parameters that are required to stop the server okay so we can see the server has started we can see let's check it out okay the configuration changes are getting applied i'm just scrolling up to check okay so this is also checks the if you are connected to internet it checks for the updates okay let me just verify if we can see that log file or, or the sorry the log file contains this startup message okay these are the, the synapse configuration plans okay uh yeah so here we have got this server has started so we have the publisher url the dev portal and the carbon url if we do a control c nothing happens even if we print it will show the same message so if you would like to see up to 100 lines we can do a tail minus 100 up and you can see last 100 lines to be printed over here okay so now what we have to do we have to verify if the server has started we can check it out inside uh, the logs okay localhost 10443 so this is due to apple security settings in mac that certificate it's unable to verify the certificate okay cool we are not going to log in this time just need to verify it has started so now we are going to stop the server
okay so quickly check for the log if we are able to grab the log for the service store stopping so you can see the server stop event has kicked up okay so we are able to see this uh, shutting down and the halt in jbm and we just have to check if the server has stopped cool the server has stopped now okay so that completes the uh, tutorial for this particular session oh okay my bad i forgot to mention the java home okay so let's see how to check for the java home or changing the java home variable so we have to go inside the bin directory apmmg.sh open with uh, you can use any of the text editor or the code editor here we are using okay so you can see we have this java home set in this particular file so we can make the changes in this file and accordingly our server will use this particular java to start the server okay so that's all for this session thank you very much so thank you very much for your time and stay tuned for my upcoming hands-on lab exercises on wso2 api manager 4 you can refer to my blog links for useful contents on WSO2 products and official API manager documentation as well. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for upcoming videos and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.